Morning my friends, uh, welcome again to another episode of Frustrated to Freedom. Uh, to Freedom. My name is Bill Morrow, as I've told you before, <laughs> and you're here to learn from my story of progress up to the situation I am in at the moment, which is a very nice situation. Now, the uh, episode this morning is number 12 of 100. We are getting on and it is called your understanding. Now, the understanding of what we're going through is the mindset and how to set up the mindset and how to get the whole system working in your favor. This is what it's all about and this is what we're trying to do. Now, if you remember, the process we go through are three things, the thought, the plan, and the action. Now, as children, we learned by pictures in our minds there were pictures and if you think of it now everything you see and do relates to a picture in your mind so it's not just a blank space with numbers and sounds and everything in there they are pictures so when you walk along a laneway and you hear a tractor or something or um, something happening in the field cows or whatever it might be you then picture in your mind what's the other side of the field, uh, the other side of the hedge. And that's the way, as children, we learned. We used to look forward to our bedtime stories. We were, uh, everything was uh, built up so that we got the picture in our minds of what the situation was, uh, whether it was the fairy queen or the princess in the pink dress and the, and the little crown and uh, the, the dashing prince coming along on a beautiful white horse. All of the things were pictures in the mind and next night it would be, oh can you tell me that one about the lovely princess and the pink dress? So this is where we started and everything we do all relates to the pictures we have in our mind. So coming down in history, we had historians, they used to tell the stories about the progress of their tribes, of their, their experiences, whatever it might be. Historians still go on telling stories all about the history, the past and the present, and some even talk about the future. Um, you have minstrels who sing the songs all about the stories of uh, the histories and everything else. So this is where the learning comes in. The learning process is coming in all the time. And what alerts some of these uh, pictures to us, it can be another picture, it can be a, a sound, a bell, uh, a fire alarm, um, an engine, or whatever it might be, it alerts to us to the memory, what it is, what's happening, and then this is where we take action and all of these things. Um, songs particularly, um, it's, it's a pleasant way of getting information in and this is the sort of thing we relate to. So again, negative thoughts we don't have. We can think about things in all sorts of forms, but we get rid of negative thoughts. And this is one of the ways that when you're going shopping, the psychology of what's in your mind is used by the shop owner. When you walk into a shop, say a big shop, and uh, the first thing you do is when you walk through the doors, you tend to look to your right, strangely enough, and on the right hand side will be all the new products that they're selling. So they've alerted your mind straight away to something, the new things that are in there. So in your mind, they have taken advantage. They know the way your mind works and they've done that specifically to help them sell. And the next thing it sells, you might have uh, swimming costumes and stuff like that there. And then next is a big picture of someone wearing the swimming costume in a, a nice uh, situation on a beach or whatever it is. And that brings it to your mind and you think of yourself in that situation. This is the action that takes place in your mind by using those pictures, the pictograms which are there. 
So instead of just a, a sound or a sight, it can also be a smell that alerts. So as you walk past the shop, you get a smell of coffee. And immediately you think of, oh, a lovely coffee. I'd like to have one of those. And then from there, it goes on in the cinema. You're sitting down and up comes on the screen all the various ice creams and so forth. And then a spotlight comes on and you see the girl down there with the ice. Oh, I'd like one of those. And that's it. This is the action of alerting your mind to a situation. All of these things are done unconsciously you're not sitting there bang bang you hear things banging you in the head well sometimes you do that's the teacher doing that it's trying to get you to <laughs> think a bit more and again you hear the term picture in your mind and again a picture is worth a thousand words so again this is where the mind creates the pictures in the situation that you dictate to them and from there on, this is where we learn and this is the way we progress. So all of the things, we're guided by the same principal rules. We have the three rules, three simple rules. We think, we then uh, dream, think, whatever way you like to do it. And just by going into a shop, we have uh, brands and things like that. And uh, someone gives a brand, Tesco. And immediately you get that blue symbol in your mind and that's it. This is it. These are what symbols do and this is what brands do. And my brand is Bill Morrow and immediately you think of oh, that old bloke there. Yeah. <laughs> He's the one that's making all the money. He's the one that's doing the job. That's what the brand does. You see, you don't have to give a long story. You simply just say the brand and immediately people get the idea into the mind because the brand is in there and that's my brand so the progress on all of these things is threefold you think you plan you take action and that my friends is exactly what we're going to do see you in the next episode